This Medical Minute is brought to you by Avera. If you were right-handed and couldn't raise your right arm without wincing in pain, it would be hard to function, not to mention frustrating. KSFY's Nancy Nave Brown and photojournalist Jeff Cleland were allowed into the operating room to watch as a Sioux Falls woman had her torn rotator cuff repaired without having to cut open her shoulder. Renee Coley from Sioux Falls is having surgery in one of the new Avera Surgery Center operating suites to have her right rotator cuff repaired, a fix she can't wait to have. Don't think your TV needs adjusting either. Surgeon Dr. Eric Peterson with Core Orthopedics Avera operates under a green light. It helps him see the monitors better, and yet he can still see what's going on around him. And I've been suffering since January with it, and I have pain all the way to my elbow and up in my neck, which gives me headaches. I think in her case, um, and it's the most common type of rotator cuff tear we see, it comes from rubbing on a prominent spur. If you see this bone here that sits above the, above the rotator cuff and kind of acts like the roof of the shoulder, oftentimes there's a spur on the end, which w <clears throat> over time can lead to thinning and eventually a tear or a hole in the rotator cuff, as was the case with her. When you tear your rotator cuff, it's not like it disappears. This is what it looks like when it's normal. When you tear it, it sits back like this, and Dr. Peterson is pulling it forward. Well, the traditional uh, surgical approaches for the rotator cuff repair involve making large incisions around the shoulder and splitting through the muscle in order to get down to the level of the rotator cuff and then repairing the tendons back. I use a, a minimally invasive approach uh, called arthroscopic rotator cuff repair that involves making some tiny poke holes or keyholes around uh, the shoulder and inserting a small instrument uh, called an arthroscope in, viewing it on a TV screen, and then using various instruments uh, and suture anchors in order to repair the tendon. Before he can suture the tendon in place on the shoulder bone, he shaves down the surface of that bone to make it bleed. The bone thinks it's fractured and initiates a healing response, so the tendon adheres solidly to it. Here's the before and after of the double row repair. The real advantage to this less invasive way of repairing her rotator cuff is less pain meds and a faster recovery. Renee will start rehab in a month. <laughs> and I know it's going to be tough, but, you know... You have to have pain to gain. Gaining motion and strength in her right arm again is something she very much looks forward to having. With your Avera Medical Minute, I'm Nancy Nate Brown, KSFY News. And Nancy is going to follow Renee as she starts physical therapy and rehab toward the end of September. For more information on this surgery or any other topic, you can call 877 at Avera or visit KSFY.com and click on health.